Hello, Internet world. Welcome to your favorite podcast, Tech Pop Boom, with your hosts, Brandon and Scott. I am Scott. And I am Brandon. Today, you're in for a treat. If you're not familiar with the show, what we do is Brandon typically, well, not typically, Brandon starts off the show where he'll just bring up whatever news items are interesting to him and he'll just do a just do his, his take on it and I'll do my color commentary. We'll talk about whatever technology tickles our fancy. We'll talk about whatever streaming shows tickle our fancy. Whatever's on our mind, technology-wise, pop culture-wise, uh, anything, any streaming video, any new music. That's basically what we're about. That's the podcast. Besides that, uh, ways to find us, please. We have our own YouTube channel. Go on YouTube. Check out Tech Pop Boom. Do the same thing with Facebook, Google+. Plus. Go to the search. Type up Tech Pop Boom. And the coolest thing of all, Brandon started a website for us at techpopboom.com. Go to all those places. Check us out. Uh, Brandon's also working on getting us on iTunes, so it'll be a lot easier for Apple listeners to just go to the Apple Store and download the podcast. Until then, please do us a favor. Go to uh, Facebook, Google+, Plus, any of the places I mentioned, uh, and you'll find our RSS feed. Once you find our RSS feed, it's just as simple as typing up the address and your favorite podcast catcher. Once you do that, the podcast will automatically come to your listening device. You can enjoy. With that, I will give the floor to the host with the most, Brandon. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hold the applause. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so... As you know, in the last podcast, I was shopping for a new phone. I yes. got my new phone. <laughs> finally broke down and got the Apple. I can't yeah. buy oh. as everyone else. Oh, oh hell no. Got the Apple phone. Oh, oh, no. Oh, it, no. Took, it, t- it took you long enough. Uh, yeah, yeah. Together. It took me, even though I had one before. But no. Yes, you did. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, no. It's not. Definitely not that phone. <laughs> What iPhone, what iPhone did you have? Was it the iPhone 4? That you no, had? no, it's the iPhone um, doesn't exist. Yeah, I think it's, I think I something. I crap. That's what it's called. It's called, called I crap. Yeah, I got the I crap how, model. <laughs> how dare you, sir? Yes. How yes, dare yes, you? Yes, I crap. That's what I got. No. No, no. I the, the, the many fans are on pins and needles. Yes, they, they can't are. Wait. Yes. Brandon, please tell the internet world. Okay. What for, after seven episodes and yes. every single episode we've ever recorded, you've talked about buying a new phone. Yes. You've hemmed. You've hawed. Yes. You, you've, you've, you've gone back and forth. I want this one. No, I want this one. But if yes. I get this one, I won't have this. Yes. For the love of God, Brandon, we can't wait any longer. Please do us a favor. Tell us. Okay. What phone did you buy? Mm, well, I've got the HTC One M9. That's what I bought. That's it. The HTC yes. M9. Tell us about the HTC M9. Okay. Well, the HTC. Because what, one, what, what did you what did you have before? Did I had the uh, HTC One M One or M7. So that's what it's called. And what M7. is the difference? What's the difference between the M7 okay, and the M9? Okay, the M the M7 was a uh, quad core uh, processor and it was a four point I think it was a four point seven inch screen and this yep. is a five point one. Okay, um, so this one, yep. This one has eight cores in it. Oh, it's bigger screen, it's a bigger faster, screen, it's faster. faster phone. Uh, same okay. resolution. Um it has a twenty megapixel camera. The other one had a four megapixel camera. So but, the camera's better. Yeah camera's better. Depends on who you talk to though about the camera. Let me see. It has the same design. Um, the mm-hmm. buttons, instead of on the top, they're on the side. Um, it is still has sense on it. What else is on there? Uh, that's really it. <laughs> that is your phone. Okay, cool. So uh, with that new phone, did you change um, the phone company, uh, your cell phone company? Did you stay with Sprint because you've been with Sprint? So uh, are you still a Sprint customer? Did you jump ship? Uh, where are we at with that? No, I did not jump ship. I stayed with Sprint, and I am very, 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 very disappointed at Sprint. I mean, this is this is exactly. <laughs> I, I I wish I had switched, uh, and I'm I'm glad Scott I told you to switch because <laughs> now, <laughs> I think you, you would you be had, very mad. You had mentioned you had mentioned something about someone you work with. Uh, I think you said you called it the Spark Network. Yes. 
Yes. Are you are you able are you able to use the Spark network or no? Only at work. It doesn't work at where where I live. You're kidding me. So you can only use a Spark network at work. And do you use it at work? Yeah, yeah, I can stream. It works perfectly at work. It just doesn't work very but, perfectly but here. It, but you, it doesn't really matter because at work you have Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> so that really sucks. Yes, that really sucks. At home I have Wi-Fi too. I just It's just anywhere else. If I go over to my mom's house, you can forget about it. I'm in right. 3G and it's so slow. So I have to jump on oh. her network. And then anywhere and else I go. It's so cool. with this new phone, is it like a two-year plan? How does it work? Okay, so here, here's the whole leasing thing. Okay, I went leasing, um, but mm-hmm. I don't think it's a good deal. Now, here's my whole thing of why I probably will not go with Sprint anymore because I am totally done with them. I, I, I'm done with them because here, here's why. Okay, I went there, as you know, in the last podcast. I was going there, and I was spending two yeah. hours, three hours, you know, that kind of thing sitting there. Well, you can tell Brandon's. You can tell Brandon's not married. He doesn't have kids. He's no. spending two hours in the cell phone. Yeah, store. the cell phone store. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. I spent <laughs> two, two hours in the cell phone store. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, and I decided to go back the next day after you asked me if I was going to go back. And I said, Ah, uh, you know, um, I don't know. You know, I might not. But I decided, okay, the next day I was like, screw it. I got nothing else to do. Why not? So I go up there and I go and I order my phone, my Sprint phone. And, and you know, okay, they didn't have any in stock, the store I went to. I went to the store uh, close to work, okay, where we work, because the reason mm-hmm. I went there was because so I could go pick it up and then just go to work, you know? So yeah. I thought that was a great idea, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. What I did was I went there, and the guy says, hey, you know, um, here's, here is the phone, blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, we don't have the phone in stock because, you know, I gave away my last one. I said, oh, well, no biggie because I, I figured it would, it would be gone because I was like three days, it was released three days ago and I guarantee you all the people that wanted the phone had probably already got it and they didn't have any more and they'd have to wait. Mm-hmm. I said, okay, no problem. This is no problem. I, so I said, well, you know, I probably will just come back, you know. So I was just looking around. and uh, Now, nobody, no one was in the store, Scott. This is the amazing part. No one was in the store. Maybe, um, and then one person walked in maybe later on during the, our conversation, but that was it. So I got right away. It was instant. So are you talking about the Sprint store by work? Yeah. This is the Sprint okay. store by work. Okay. I, 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 I know. I know of what the store. Uh, I know of which the store you're talking about. Yes. 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 You know which one. So yes. um, okay. So I walk in there, and so nobody. So it was cool, you know. And then so he walks up, and I'm looking at the HTC one. It's well, yeah, it was the HTC one. I was looking at it, and I was looking at the Nexus, and he says, "Hey, you can lease the phone for five bucks a month." Now remember, oh, yeah, remember yeah. in the last podcast I said I didn't care whether it leased, I didn't care if I had to buy it, you know, whatever. Okay, yeah, I was planning yeah. on buying it, but yeah. he says you can lease it for five bucks a month, and I said really? I said oh well hell okay well then shoot sign me up then right? What a wonderful deal! So what essentially, a wonderful deal. you went in there. The guy says, "Hey, you want this phone? Hey, five bucks a month? Yeah, no problem. No problem. So right. Brandon." Right. What the hell? What the hell? I'll, I'll, I, I'll take the phone for five dollars a month. Yeah, you five dollars on that deal. Oh, I jumped on it. But okay, yeah. this is where kind of like the train wreck began with with Sprint. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. This is not the first time this has happened to me. This is like the second time or third time out of all my phones that this has happened to me. So the person okay. puts in the order, and I guess it was supposed to be overnight, but he accidentally did three days. Okay, so okay. I, 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 okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I, I, I said, okay, fine, no problem. As long as I get the phone, so, as long as I get the phone. You had to wait. You had to wait for the phone. Yes. That was aggravating. Yes, I had okay. to wait for the phone. That was aggravating. That was the okay. first thing. That What's was the, the second thing? thing. The second thing is when I went in there, when I went to go pick it up, he set yes. up and everything. But then yes. at the very end, guess what? I had to give hmm. up my phone. Son of a bitch. The second. I would have thro- thrown it at him. You know he does. He didn't say that. When I asked him, "Hey, you know what? What's so? What's the deal? You know, why are you giving me for five bucks a month?" He says, "No, because you have a, a, a contract with us for sev- for seventeen years." So you know, I'm thinking, okay, because that would have been the time to tell me. Would have been you there. Thought, you thought the reason why you're getting the deal of five dollars a month is because you've been such a valuable yes. customer. 
But the, what they didn't tell you is to get the five dollars a month. I gotta give up my phone. Give away your old phone, which yes. is what you did not want to do. No, because you you like holding on to your phone. Yes, I love holding. It. It's a tradition, okay? I know it's a weird tradition, but I like to throw them in the box, and then I like to take them out, like when we're talking about phones, and say, "Hey, this is the HTC One. This is the Palm Pre. This is the you know I have all my old phones in a box." Uh, there's only three phones I don't have, and that's because they broke. You know what you're, what you're not telling the people is you actually live in a box. You're yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, you, you live in a box. When you say you live, you put it in a box. What you're what you're actually saying is you're putting it inside your home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. I mean, well, I actually, I put it in another box. Please send your donations to Tech Pop Boom. <laughs> Buy Brandon a home. For the love of God, the man needs a home. No, actually, no, actually, no. I don't need a home. I have a home. Um, but You have a very nice home. I have a very nice home. Um, but what happened is, is that after he activates my phone, after I signed the contract, which is nowhere in the contract it says that they take my phone because I read it. He was pissed yeah. about that because I because everybody else is behind me now. Mind you, I'm at the store and I waited two, three, almost two hours before he ever saw me to get this phone. Okay, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I had to go to work at seven. So thank God I went to the close, the one close to work because I never would have made yeah. it there on time. But yeah. I, I, I made it there on time. So here's the thing. So I get there and he says, well, hey, you know what? Uh, I got to give up your phone. Now, now I know you guys are saying, wait, you were going to throw it in a box. What's the point then? It's the fact that, you know, in actuality, I'm not getting a good deal um, because the phone was worth one hundred and fifty dollars. The, or a hundred, yeah, hundred and fifty dollars. The, mm-hmm. the 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 term of the lease was two hundred dollars. Okay, so yeah. in a way, that five bucks a month, I'm only paying five bucks. I'm paying the just the rest of the lease. So they basically got my phone. Yeah. So there's no deal. So I'd rather have bought it and at least had a phone. You know, at the end of when I paid for it. Another thing yeah. is, oh, so this, this this is a, I'm sorry, this is a two year plan. Yeah. So you have this new plan for two years. Yes, it's for two years. So and it, go ahead. oh no, it's like a two year lease. And then oh oh you can go on. It's it's a, it's a two year no, lease. I'm just I'm just trying to understand and make it clear for everyone listening. So your your lease is for two years and it's yes. five dollars a month for yes. two years. Yes. So I mean essentially I mean I mean you had to give up your phone, but at the same time you have unlimited minutes. Yep, unlimited minutes. You have and you it, you, and you have unlimited data. Yes. Granted, the data the data sucks because it's Sprint, but it's unlimited data, yes. unlimited texting, unlimited talking yes. for five dollars a month, and that's that's so your bill comes in the mail. Well, no, no, yes. no. Actually, I pay that's five bucks just for the phone. No, no, no. I I pay like a hundred and something for that for my plan. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's okay. a hundred. It's a hundred. That's for the phone. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. That's just I, for the okay. phone. I mean, right. yeah, that plan is like a hundred. I I got an old plan. I got the one he wanted me to change, and I tap on tell him no. And I why do they want it? And I, I know why they want to change because it's no plan. It's an, it's an expensive. Yes, but I mean, how are they? Okay. Uh, on, on, what, what, what is it? What is it that you have that they want? They okay. Want okay. So here, here. Okay. I have the. Um, okay. Here's what I have. The why they want me to switch so badly. Not only do I get my employee discount on top of this, but I get unlimited minutes. Okay, um, for mm-hmm. per cell phone. Now, um, the other one, I it's one thousand five hundred minutes for the for any landline phone. Okay, but who has a landline phone now? Everyone has a yeah. cell phone. So anyone who calls me, it's unlimited. <laughs> anyone, yeah. any cell phone that I call is unlimited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Who has one? Okay, so only. Only phones that I call 1-800 numbers at is goes towards my minutes. Okay, so this right. is how old this is. Secondly, the data plan when Sprint now I think it's like thirty bucks a month for data, right? For unlimited data now it's thirty. Guess how much I pay mm-hmm. for my data? How much? Ten dollars a month. Wow. Okay, that's why they want to get rid of it. It's unlimited. Okay. Two. On top of that, any phone I add to my plan, it's only nineteen dollars. So I mean, add the data, at, which is ten, which is twenty. So right. Twenty nine. At, at, at one time, you did have multiple phones. You were yeah. like a pimp. You had like phone in every pocket. Yeah. You, you had like a, a, a the Batman belt of phones. Yep. Yes, I did. I had a phone for every, and then I decided, you know what? I'm just going to go to one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it got, it got confusing. less confusing. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I wanted one was was work people could call me, and the other one was just my personal one, where you know, and then right. I thought, yep. well, you know what? 
forget it. I, I, I don't care if they call me or not. So I just what, got rid what, of that phone. Yeah, what people may not know listening to the show is that one time you were a very uh, prestigious uh, uh, well, you were very prestigious in the movie business. Yes, and yes, you had yes. to have uh, you had a uh, you know, like you said your personal cell phone, and you had a cell phone because you had uh, uh, big wigs, big movie uh, yes. buffs calling oh, you yeah, for, yes, to make I that did. special deal. And another thing people may not know is you are currently writing a story yes. that will be developed into a very we're, we're getting off subject, and I realize that but <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> you are you're, you're, <laughs> you're writing a story written by a very wonderfully talented person, me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, it, it will be uh, so. Yeah, Brandon at one point was involved in the movie business. That's right, he is. is he's, he's writing a, a story that I wrote. It's going to be uh, eventually a turned into a movie. Actually. Right, a screenplay. Anyways, I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm sidetracking. I thought that would be an interesting oh, uh, cool. side note for, for people to listen to. You yeah, can yeah. edit this out if you want to, but I wanted to throw oh, it in. No, no, Let I people know <laughs> that you're not just, not just a voice. You're a very talented human being. I probably won't, but um, no, it, it, <laughs> thank you. Get my phone and I go to work, right? To get the rest mm-hmm. of my story. So I give him mm-hmm. my phone. <laughs> and <laughs> you know what? It yes, doesn't what? work. The phone the did phone not doesn't... work when I went. Oh, when I think I yeah, you there. told me that. Yeah, yes, because yeah, 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 yeah. if you had not been text you, if you had not texted me and yeah. stuff like that, I couldn't, get a, yeah, I couldn't get a hold of you. Yeah, my my, and I didn't know that. I I didn't know. I mean, because the, mm. when I left, the guy was like, "Oh, it will take ten minutes for you to for your for your phone to connect." I'm thinking to myself. In the past, I never had to wait for it to connect. It was connected the minute I walked out the store. So I waited 10 minutes, and then all of a sudden, I think, what was I going to do? Uh, my internet worked, but not not my uh, texting. So then I had to call Sprint. So then I called Sprint, and I'm like, okay. And, and so her and I went an hour on the phone, at least well, oh not an hour, back and forth, going, trying to fix the phone get it to work so people could call me and, yeah. and 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 that's why i was like okay you know what at the very end i i was like you know what i i think i'm done with them i i i i, I mean i had a horrible experience getting this phone i love my phone i hate my service i mean i really yeah. hate my service because i can't even listen to our podcast i tried to listen to our podcast today on youtube and i can't even did that because it kept on stopping and going that would drive me oh, absolutely nuts. And you're stuck with these guys for two years now. I'm stuck with these for two people for two years. Oh, that sucks. You really, you know what? Sincere. I mean, I'm not I'm trying to make you feel bad. Well, maybe I'm a little bit. You really should have left. I don't know I why you laughed. stayed around. As, I don't know. As much as much crap as you know, you, you've talked about those guys, and you're the one. You're the reason why I I, I was on Sprint. Yeah, you're the one who, who who talked me into leaving. And you know what? And that was the best decision. I realize now that I saved you. I pushed you off the boat, and I yet uh, I stayed on the boat. And I don't know because when I had, when, well, yeah, when I, when I had Sprint, I had an old granny phone that didn't have data on it. I just had like a flip phone because you know it was public report at the time. Um, but so I, I never used the data, so I, I didn't know it, whether it was bad. But I you know asked questions and I did research, and everyone I, mean, I had so many people tell me to leave Sprint, so I did, and I ended up going with AT and T. And do you like your service? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I don't really have any issues. I mean, I have, I guess I have some issues here and there, but not enough to, you know, really throw a fit and stomp my feet about, you know. So I'm happy with it, yeah. Yeah, but did you hear Google's launching their new a new cell phone service? I think I did. Why don't yeah. you tell me about that, Brandon? Okay, well. <laughs> this is a technology podcast. Yeah, okay. I would be interested in hearing that. Okay, okay. So Google just announced on Wednesday that they're going to launch April 22nd. Okay, yes. 2015. Um, yes. So they decided to launch this network with using both Sprint and T-Mobile's network, which uh, that is might be a very good thing because yeah, Sprint I did hear network that. sucks. <laughs> so you said so Google is starting a phone company, a cell phone company, using Sprint and T-Mobile service. Yes, yes it'll switch back what? and forth. But I, I thought Sprint and T-Mobile are like the worst services out there. Yeah, but together, together they would make almost what Verizon would be like, and they would be almost everywhere. I, they fill each other's really? holes. Yeah, they would fill each other's holes. 
Okay. Well, if you so say let, so, let's because T-Mobile works. T-Mobile works okay where I where I live. I have a Chromebook that I got unlimited um, unlimited data for the rest of the life of the device, and it uses mm-hmm. the T-Mobile data card, and I get 200 megabytes a second. Okay, that okay. works perfectly. You know how many by, mega, um, megabytes I get per second on that device? That device is almost like what. It should be where I live. Uh, like eight, I think it's 18 megabits a second. I'm getting on Sprint. I barely can get that in my house. I I, I barely get two. Two yeah, can't even run YouTube. You know, yeah, I mean, two can't even run ridiculous. anything. I mean, yeah. forget about it. I, it's like two megabits a second, and that's like on a on a on a okay day. I mean, on a good day, on a good day, it might be six. And unacceptable. Then, no, it, it is not acceptable. It, it's just it bothers me, and you know I'm tired of complaining about. I, I I should should maybe the squeaky wheel gets the oil, and maybe I should just start complaining, complaining, complaining until they make it go as fast as like any other network. But I think it's all over because if you go and you look up Sprint and you go on Facebook, a lot of people are on there screaming and yelling but you go on t-mobile's website and you go on all the other websites i mean t-mobile's got some complaints but you go to verizon and it's like okay you get some complaints about their bill but you get you never see anything about their network you know for this i mean it it, it, so, it bothers me but go ahead well, I'm sorry. It, it would bother me oh, that's fine it would bother me too when is this google uh cell phone service when is it supposed to go oh, live it's supposed to go live i I think it's supposed to go live. Well, the only bad thing is, is you have to have a Nexus phone. Um, it's only oh, it's only yeah, available yeah. for the Nexus phones. But okay. um, I think it's supposed to go live. It doesn't say when it's supposed to go live. Actually, in this article I have, I'm gonna. I, I, I think it's supposed to go cool. live sometime in the summer. Okay, so answer me this, Batman. Okay. If say like uh, a month ago when you were you didn't uh, you were eligible for a new phone. So if you were eligible for a new phone. And uh, this Google service were available. Okay. Uh, would you stay with Sprint, or would you give this new Google, Google service a try? Mm-hmm. If I going with the Nexus phone, you had to go with the Nexus phone, though. But I had to go to the Nexus phone, and I don't want, and I didn't like a Nexus six. See. See, so that would be a, maybe they'll do it for the silver perm. Now, if they had a Nexus five or something like that, or or a or nice if, it's, phone. if it's if it's a Google phone service. Maybe they'll have that Google phone that you were talking about on episode one. Yes, but then I might be getting the same service because it's T-Mobile and Sprint. That's exactly what I thought. Because you, you said T-Mobile and Sprint, I'm thinking, that doesn't sound so hot to me because you said yourself Sprint sucks. Yeah. And you're, you're basically relying on T-Mobile. Yeah, I'm relying I, on yeah, T-Mobile. I, yeah. I would just say the hell with it. I would just, I would, I mean. I'd have to you see. Know, you know more than I do, but I would consider going with either AT&T or Verizon. <sighs> And I know I see. I just uh, I mean I would not get what I have with Reverise and what I have now on Sprint. The AT and T would probably be the only other choice. And you say yeah. you like you say you like your service. Yeah. Um. Occasionally, you no. Know, I, I you know I don't know if it's an if, an, if it's an Apple thing or something. But occasionally, I'll have I have an issue with my phone where I'll try to make a phone or someone will try to call me and it'll go straight to voicemail. It won't even ring. Hmm. Uh, sometimes I'll try to call someone and it just won't do anything. And then the, I mean, just silly things, weird things like that. Now it doesn't happen all the time, but I mean, it has happened. Yeah. Now stuff like stuff like that never happened when I was on. Although Sprint, I mean, I had phone issues too. But um, I have quirky things that happen with AT and T uh, uh, phone wise. Now um, uh, data wise, I I can't think of any issues. It works fine. If I had to come up with an issue with that, I'd say, I mean, I only—it's not unlimited. You know, I, I get six yeah. gigs a month. I get six gigabytes a month uh, of data. There's a. My wife has like no idea <laughs> uh, how this stuff works. <laughs> There's one time she uh, she'd given my son her cell phone because he was throwing a fit or at the doctor or something. And uh, let them watch YouTube videos, not realizing that you know there's a that we only have six gigs, and once you go over six gigs, and you know it's it's more money. But yeah. the bill came the next month, and it's like, holy mother, Mary, God, <laughs> what the hell did you do? You take out a loan for a new car or what? You know? Oh my God! 
Yeah, so she didn't realize, and so uh, obviously she knows now. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Wow, that bill must have been big. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was a big bill. Yeah. I mean, other other than that, I mean, I, I would love uh, to have more. I, and uh, that was like the only time we've really ever had an issue. And now AT has uh, rollover minutes, so that's nice. See, yeah. Now, I if they went unlimited. I would probably would probably go oh, to AT. Oh please, if, they, if it was unlimited, that'd be great. Uh, I believe you know more than I would, but I thought Sprint is like one of the only ones that has unlimited plans. T-Mobile I think they're does. doing. Oh, they do have it still. Yeah, T-Mobile okay, still, so, okay. but that's it. Those are the only two. Um, AT and T used to be unlimited. They're the ones who started the whole unlimited thing. Right, but I heard that they're doing away with it if they haven't already. Yeah, when I went there. When I was doing my homework, they said, "Yeah, if you want to get it now, because it's going away." Yeah, 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 yeah. No, um, it's done. No more, no yeah. more unlimited. Which I wish, done. which I wish, because that's me. I don't like to deal with 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 the whole entire watching the data thing. I I, I don't want to deal with that. That's almost like and that's, oh, go that's ahead. That's why I I have my um uh, I have two. I have my iPod Touch and I have my iPhone. My iPhone is basically for surfing and for different things. But my my Touch is for listening to music and, and podcasts so I, I don't stream anything on my phone because I only get six gigs a month yeah yeah I don't like to even see and I'm not I don't I hate watching a clock I'm not yeah. gonna like watching data yeah, I, you're I, Mr. Moneybags you yeah. can just get, you know, get 20 gigs a month and you'll be all set yeah but I'm, I don't want to give my monies to them over I, I'd rather go unlimited <sighs> No, I I, I can't. So you, I know what you, you know what you need to do? <laughs> you, you need to get one of those cars. I think it was, a, it was an Equinox where they have Wi-Fi in the car, mm-hmm. and you'll be all set. So there you go. Just buy buy a forty thousand dollar car with Wi-Fi built in for probably twenty bucks a month, and all your problems are solved. Probably, but probably I guarantee you that's capped too. The what for Wi-Fi in, in the car? car? Yeah, I think that's probably capped. I guarantee how does that, you. How does that work, by the way? I, I, I keep going off on all these tangents. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry about it. But I, I wonder how that works. How do you get Wi-Fi in a car? And do you think you have to pay for that? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh it's probably part of OnStar service. So it's probably like... Oh, uh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, it's Look part of you. OnStar it's service. Normal. Yeah, yeah, I looked it up. Um, but how it works is, is it already has... Well, you know that all OnStar works on a cell phone network. That's how you're able to call, and that's how it's able to find yeah. you in the GPS. Yep. Well, mm-hmm. basically, they just basically put in another radio in there for LTE service and made Wi-Fi in it. I mean, it was, it's a very simple thing is what they did. So, so, so they have Wi-Fi in the car, and it's, it's, a, it's a monthly fee. It's not free, right? No, I mean, no, no. It's Wi-Fi not, it's in the free. car, you're not getting it for free. No, it's, no. It's paying part. You're paying part. Yeah, you're paying probably. It's probably capped. I mean, I, I can look it up now, but... It's it's probably more likely it's capped. It's capped at like two hundred megabits much, a second or something like I wonder, that. I wonder how much it is though. Let me month. see. Here. I what the is. Let me look it up. Let me look it up here. Onstar dot com. Let's see here. Uh, let's look it up. Cause I okay. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. So here's the data plans here for two hundred megabytes a month. It's five dollars for for subscriber and then non subscriber is ten dollars. Same. Yeah. So a, a, a subscriber of of OnStar is five dollars a month for yeah. two hundred megabytes. For two hundred megabytes, yeah. You know what? Anyone, listen. I'm sorry. Anyone willing to pay five dollars a month for two hundred megabytes, you're throwing your money away. Yeah, you might. Have... If if you need the internet that bad, that's just stupid. That's yeah. absolutely stupid. Buy an iWatch if you want to throw money away like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only oh, yeah. I, I, well, for one gigabyte, it's fifteen dollars a month. For one gig, yeah. Uh, for not 15? for subscribers, yeah. For non subscribers, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Why would you spend fifteen dollars for a one gig when you can just go to your cell phone plan and you know buy more data? Yeah, me too. You're willing to spend fifteen dollars on Wi Fi, or or get a hotspot on your phone. Yeah, you know, does Sprint have hotspots? I have a friend who's on Sprint, and her son has an iPad. Uh, but they don't have a computer in the house. Yeah. So I said, well, why don't you just get a hotspot, or you know, you put the hotspot on your phone, and you can just hook it up to your phone. But she said that she talked to someone that they don't, they don't have hotspots. Yeah, so they do. doesn't offer a hotspot. No, they, they do. do. I have it. I have one. Yeah. Oh, well, she's full of shit then. Because yeah. she said that there I have isn't. it. So how much is an extra month for a hotspot? Uh, nineteen ninety nine, and it's for two gigs. But see, that makes me mad, too, because with AT&T, the hotspot is, it's, it's free. It's free, it's, yes. It's, so yes. why is it free on AT and T and Sprint charges I'm, you more? It's bullshit. Because I have unlimited data, and that would mean that I could go unlimited. But that's well, the, that is a problem. 
with Sprint. That is exactly oh. the problem with Sprint because Sprint has always charged for their hotspots, and the other carriers. But that that makes don't. sense because it's unlimited. Now, people who don't have unlimited plans, I wonder if it's yeah. Extra. I wonder. Yeah, yeah, I wonder if it's. I wonder if it's part of their plan. Because no, they're using their minutes, sense. like yeah. like they're using their their data, that, and they're so they kind of would make money if they went over. They're not going to make any money off of me, yeah. you know, because I'm unlimited. Because our plans are always unlimited on Sprint. Okay, I mean, if always. I mean, from from the time T- AT and T started this crap to now, and they just got out of the business of the unlimited um, plan where they have yeah. like like tiers, but you still can get your unlimited plan. You know, they still have an unlimited plan. The problem is, is that their hot, AT&T and Verizon offer free hotspots. Okay. Like, like what you were just saying, you can turn it yeah. on and it works. Okay. But yeah, it uses yeah. your data as to where spread. No, they never, you always had to pay that extra monthly fee of 1999 or whatever it is. I think it's 1999 and I think it's like 29 or 39 for four gigs and for like six gigs is wow. like 60 bucks a month or something added to your plan. Good Lord. So, yeah. No, I have I have a lot high, uh, hot spot, but it doesn't do any good for me because my data sucks, so I need to get rid of it anyway. Yeah. yeah. Probably, I, would just, I would just eat the, uh, whatever the cost is of the cancellation fee, get rid of that whole shit, and go to find another phone service. I might do that. Might, How much is it to cancel if you, if you really did do that? Okay, if I did work. do that, if I did that right now, I'd have to pay yeah. off the lease, and also I think it's four hundred dollars. Money well spent. Let's get that done by next episode. <laughs> we'll tell the adventures of how Brandon spent all of his money switching to a new. Yeah. Now, the next episode. Which service did Brandon go to? Go to. Go to. <laughs> did he go right, to AT&T? Did he go to Sprint? Did he go to what? Oh uh, yeah. Did he stay with Sprint? So yeah, no. I think we've gone on enough uh, side banners here. What's, what, what's your next story, Brandon? My next story is that uh, podcasts are safer after EFF helped gut the patent trolls. Okay, I thought about what? this. This time, say, say it again in English. Okay, 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 okay. So I'll say it again in English. Okay, Electronic Founder Founda- Foundation. That's what FFF stands for. That's easy for you to say. Okay, so yeah, no, it's hard to say. So the, okay, okay. So what happened was is that this guy took a patent out on um, on podcast. So he was suing Adam Carolla and all of them and for people oh, like yeah. me for, yeah, for having a that. podcast. You know? Because okay. he said that he, what we're doing now, we would have to pay this dude money every time we did a podcast. <laughs> right. So the no, um, yeah, yeah, I heard about that, yep. Yeah, and so what happened was is they told, they threw us out of, they threw it out of court was because there were podcasts before he had his patent. You know, the people okay. were doing this before he came up with his patent, so you can't patent something that was already done. So this guy was <laughs> just trying to this guy was just trying to make a buck. He, yeah, he's a patent troll. The, yeah. These are patent trolls all over. I'll give you an example of a great patent troll, okay? The, our voicemail, that is actually patent. Visual voicemail is patent, okay? Uh-huh. That's why on the Android phones, all of our apps suck. Because this guy, yeah. yeah, they all have the same app. They all get upgraded the same app. They all have advertising on our app. None of us, none of us can get a good visual voicemail on Android because of this one dude who has this patent. So he, what he did was he probably he's what he, he opened up his software or company or whatever and says, I'm the only one who's going to make a visual voicemail patent. If you want it on your phone, you have to buy it from me. So what is the what do people in and HTC and Samsung do? They go and they say, "Well, he owns the patent, so I guess I'll put it on the phone." That's why now the only, I got to give it up to Steve Jobs cuz Steve Jobs told him to go fuck himself. I literally <laughs> literally I think because uh, that's Brandon, what he did. This is a, this is a family show. Oh, whatever. Well, they could they could they could uh they could go find another show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. We had one listener and you just kicked him away. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Well, he could go find another show, or he could just read. But no, Apple was the only one that said, you know what? No, we're going to do it our way, because that's how it all started. It all started when Apple put visual voicemail on the iPhone. I think uh, HTC was on there, Samsung was on there. So what their agreement was is said, hey, you'll have to buy our app. So that app sucks. 
the visual voicemail app, I don't even use it. I don't use visual voicemail anymore just because it just sucks. But yeah. they, they, they would try to do it with podcasts, and I guess this guy lost. So we'll see about that. He might appeal, might not. I don't know if you can appeal these cases like that. Crazy. But yeah, yeah, I thought it. I thought I thought it was an interesting story because it thought I thought about our our vis- our voicemails, you know, on Android, and mm-hmm. how um and how how patent trolls because I can't stand patent trolls because they they stop innovation. You know, if somebody has an idea and they build something, and if yeah. in the United States we have something, if you come up with an idea and you patent it, you don't have to show a product for it. You, you own the right to the product. So let's say later on, I actually come up with a great idea with a product, right? Yeah. Now that dude can sue me for money. That's how it works. So you don't have to build anything. I could come up with an idea for, I don't know, um, faster than the speed of light engine, and I can go patent it. And then later on, somebody comes up that and actually builds it. Then um, I can sue him. And say you owe me what about even though the guy never even seen or know that I, I have that patent. I could say, Well, you owe me about a hundred million dollars. Otherwise you gotta stop building that uh you know, that engine right there, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it stopped. I mean, that's why Apple gets sued so much, is because of the patent trolls. And that's why they have the buttload of lawyers to fight off patent trolls. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there was a patent out for your, um, what's that thing called? A scanner? A scanner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To put your thumb on to unlock your phone. I think there was a patent out for that. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, somebody else had a patent out for it or something. But Which, well, they can eat, they can eat shit because mine, mine works like crap. You know what? Everyone says that, too. You're not the only one to say that, that that does not work for them. Although, that being said, I have an OtterBox on my iPhone. And on, on, I think so in this particular case, there's a little... Uh, well, there's a plastic film that covers the screen. Oh, that's why it protects it. And there's you know another part that protects the case, but um, the where the scanner is, it's covered by the, the piece of plastic that covers the screen. Also covers uh, the the button where the scanner is. So I'm wondering if maybe that's part of the reason why it, it doesn't work very well. Okay. I, I, I considered cutting that out, but I'm, I'm always afraid if I do that, I might damage it, and I don't want to ruin it. So. Okay. Okay. Well, that would make sense. I mean, if it's protecting your 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 phone, shoot, forget it. Do you do you think you'd ever use it a lot or no? The scan. If it worked, the hell yeah, I'd use it. Okay. I, I try to use it when it comes up, but it's like you know, I'm, I'm pressing my thumb down like three or four times, and I was like, for the love of God, I'll just put it in my damn code. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. So I I I my the HTC one doesn't have it. The Samsung Galaxy Six has a has a fingerprint scanner. Well, that's that's probably because all that being said, Apple is really just a better product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they their patent trolls too. I wanted to get into that too. They're they're just as bad, you know. Apple yeah. is just as bad as as the patent trolls because they are one of them. That's the funny part is that the patent trolls fight the Apple, but Apple's just as bad as uh, as anybody else. Yeah, as yeah. A, you know. Yeah. So. Oh wow! Well. But I could now. Here's another story that I thought you'd buy. Funny. Yes, and yes, and it's it's not funny. It's very rude. And whoever did this, I actually I, I don't know the story behind the story, but I just know part of the story. And uh, children shouldn't be listening to this. They shouldn't be getting any ideas from this story if it's what I think it is. Oh, you mean the uh, the uh, the Android is urinating on an Apple How logo? How rude is that? Yes, that is How awful. Rude. That is awful. No, <laughs> no, I love it. <laughs> I, please, please explain. <laughs> yeah, explain the story so all the uh, hoodlums at home can get some more well. ideas and not a do graffiti on the internet. Well, um, what happened was is that the Android team uh, put on their Google Maps. Uh, a picture of an Android dude urinating on an Apple symbol. And you can see it. I will post the link. 
Uh, yes. Or so why do they why 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 do they do that? They just did it because they they're they're just like me. They don't like Apple. <laughs> <laughs> where, where where was this available at? Was it like on? It was on. It was on Google map? Maps. Yeah, it was on Google Maps. They had a link to it, but they took it down. No, what I'm saying is though, uh, what part of Google Maps was like in someone's state, someone's backyard? No, it was on the a, map itself. It was on the map itself. Uh, somewhere. Uh, yeah, it was on the regular map, not the uh, not the Google Earth part where you get to see somebody hold up. No, 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 no. This is this well, is all. Part. All I have to see is uh, say about that is you wouldn't see Apple releasing a GPS map service that was subpar. Well, subpar. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, I'm subpar. Kidding. Don't even get me started on that. <laughs> I'm, kid- I'm kidding, of course, because oh. Apple, of course, they made headlines years ago, or not too long ago for uh, uh, what's the story with that brand? The oh, Netflix yeah, the uh, yeah. they when they came out with the uh, ISO six, they removed Google Maps off of their, and they came up yeah. with their own service, but it was didn't it didn't have streets, it didn't have anything. It was half done. You and I fired yeah. that dude, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. I think uh, what's his name fired him, and then um, I can't remember his name, but and then that's when uh, Johnny Ive took over uh, the ISO thing. But they, did, yeah. So that's how that's how Johnny Ive took over, and that's how you guys got that flat display. That was right after that whole thing. <laughs> I remember it well. Yes, because you had an iPhone. Me, I had an iPhone at that time too. And I, yes. and, but I didn't use the maps yeah. part. And I was bandwagon like, jumper. Look at you. Yeah, I Jumping was on the bandwagon. I was like, no, uh, uh-uh, uh no, uh, I, I couldn't believe it. But you could go to Google Maps on the website, but they came up with their own map, uh, uh, their own app mm-hmm. later. You know, um, and I, I actually I don't use it. I use Google Maps. I actually really like Google Maps. Yeah, well, everyone did. I, I just can't believe they did. The Apple did that, but they were mad at Google, so. And I guess at the time, you know, Steve Jobs, that was his last dying wish was to get rid of Google Maps off of iPhone. So he, they did that. <laughs> but you can still download it, though, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They came up with their own app. That's what Google said. Get Google, yeah. Go- Google shares stuff with you guys. You guys don't share stuff with us, but we share. So we Which are, is we the way it things. should be, because yeah. Apple is a superior product. Uh, yeah, whatever. All right, if you're so, done with your stories, I have a few things. I don't well, want to rush you, though. I do have one more. Um, oh, please, yeah, don't let me interrupt more, you. Please go more. ahead. Um, I just wanted to say that I have Netflix now. Look at you, Brad, uh, have Netflix. Uh, yeah, I Holy to, cow. I wanted yeah. to actually say that, because in the last podcast, I said, oh, you know what, I should just go get Netflix. <laughs> actually, yeah, I think you've said that since the very first podcast. So. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 yeah. I, well, I that, this it. actually leads into what I was going to talk about, which is Netflix. Okay. Um, now that you have it, have you watched any shows on Netflix? Yes, actually, I watched Black Mirror. I did watch that. You did watch that. Was my yes. next question? Yeah, you did. I did now, watch it. Tell me, did you did you watch all of it? I watched all of it. Now. I, before you tell me what you think of it, because I, I didn't even realize you watched it, and I've been, I, I mentioned this on a uh, podcast a while back, and I was convinced that you would absolutely, I really, really, truly thought that you would really like the show a lot. I thought this would be totally up there, because you're a tech there, and obviously you're doing that. The, it's the dark side podcast. of tech, though. It, it's it's yeah. interesting switch, because, okay, first episode, I was like, what does Scott have me watching? But when I got to the second episode, I was yeah, like, "Yeah, the first oh. one is very, the first one's very odd." Yeah, very odd. And I was thinking, okay, the that that one was like, eh. But when the second one, when they were, um, um, what was it? What was this? the second one? Was when they were on the bikes, and they were trying to, they get points when they go on the bikes, and then they try to get in this oh, competition yeah. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. to sing, and then they become rich by off the competition. Okay. Yep. That one was more up my alley because I, 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 I was like, wow, I kind of like this one. But the best one, I want to say, was the end, the la- the very last one. Because there's only three shows ever. I mean, there's six shows total, but they're, yeah. they're set up in the three. You know, it reminded me of her, you know, okay. of, yeah. of the guy who died. And then he was in this computer and his robot and blah, blah, blah. And then she gets a robot and, and, and then, you know. Finds out mm-hmm. later that this robot is not really him, but that one I liked. That one I liked a lot. So I, I kind of liked. Yeah, you're right. You picked a good show for me. 
yeah, yeah, I guess I didn't. Yeah, you're right. It does. It deals with the, the dark side of technology, but I still thought it was pretty good. Yeah. And besides Black Mirror, you said you watched what other show? I watched um, Orange Is the New Black. Yeah, that's a good show too. I like that one. No, I, one. I like that too. Now I've been wanting to, to watch Orange Is the New. That was the first thing I did when I got Netflix, guys. Yeah. First mm-hmm. thing was I started with Orange Is the New Black because I've read online, I've read everything. I think Scott talked about it. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, okay. Everyone said the second season was crap. Okay, I don't know. I thought it was good. The second season was better than the first season. I don't think it was better. I'd say it was equally as good. Uh, I, I yeah. To me, it, it it was more of the edge of your seat thing in the second season. First season was you got to know, so it was it was good. Don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. it was awesome. A season, mm-hmm. but when I got into the second season, I got to going. You know what? This is actually really good. <laughs> what the hell is everybody talking about on the internet? That this is that this is crap. So I don't know. I just um, I, I, I love, but well, I I can't wait to the third one. Let's put it that way. If there's anyone out there who can recommend any other good shows on Netflix, please go to one of those websites and let us know. Let us know what you're watching. Let us know if there's anything that we're not watching that we should be. Yeah, yeah. We should do a. You know what we should do? We should do a Netflix show. We already didn't have we we didn't Amazon one. We did an Amazon one because I didn't have Netflix. There was no point of doing a Netflix (laughs) one. But now that I have it, um, yeah, we should we should do one. I don't know if it should be our next one or the next one after that. Well, whatever you want to do. Speaking of shows, um, have you watched that show Other Space on Yahoo? How How do you get to it? Because I I try to look for it. It's on Yahoo, right? It is, and you know what? That Yahoo, what is it? Yahoo, what's that? Yahoo Screen. It's called Yahoo Screen. Okay. I'll tell you what. I do not like that Yahoo. I have Roku, and the the app on Roku uh, is really bad. Oh, okay. Um, and it's it's available on there, but it's very confusing to find. I think even the app on my phone, it's confusing to find. Whoever designed that app did not, in my opinion, did not do a very good job of it. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, you have to go to Yahoo Space. Uh, Community uh, is an exclusive for that channel, too. The, the latest episode, or rather, the latest, latest season of Community. Um, but uh, in my opinion, so far, I, I've lost interest, and I haven't even continued to watch it. But at any rate, uh, Community's on there, and Other Space is on there, too. You just have to look around. It's there. And no, don't go out of your way. Don't kill yourself. Because it's, it's the only reason why I'm mentioning it to you, because you're a big Star Trek nerd. Okay. So okay. I thought, because of that, I thought you might like this show. It's called Other Space, and it's available on Yahoo Screen. It's an all-original show. And it's a comedy. It's like a Star Trek type comedy thing, kind of sorta. Um, it's got the same actor who was in what's that? Uh, uh, is it the Hackers on Amazon? Oh, okay, 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 it's okay, okay. The, one, one of the main nerds. He plays the one of the main characters in this show. I don't know the guy's name, but at any rate, um, like I say, don't rush to watch a show when when you're caught up on whatever it is that you're watching take a look at it and let me know what you think okay okay oh there's no show i watched on uh, netflix that I, I i couldn't wait to see was the unbreakable uh, was the breakable kimmy smith I yeah the that whole one, thing yeah i liked it i liked it I, at first i wasn't sure if i liked it but by the time it ended i did like it yes me too same thing i yeah. I, I i i got it it, it took a, you know what it is? It's the fact that it takes a second to get it, you know. But um, I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, you know, it's right towards the end. Uh, there's a couple actors. I'm, I don't want to give anything away, but there's a there's an actor who comes in towards the end. I, I don't want I don't want to say it's a cameo because he's in a few episodes, but that he was really funny. Uh, I think he's in the last episode, and uh, he plays like the. Uh, I'm not gonna give anything away, but it's, it's it's he's very funny. Uh, the Kimmy Schmidt character is funny. Yeah. The blonde lady uh, who is in Thirty Rock, she's in, yeah. she's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she she lives with on the show. There's a gay character. Yeah, and he, him he he's funny in parts, but I guess I can only take him in doses. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I I don't know, but I, I mean I, I think the show is definitely worth watching, and the the. Uh, the the song the theme song for the show probably one of the best theme songs ever written it's, I think it's great yeah. do you know where they got it from okay I I I get oh, yeah. it you know yeah, like yeah, remember yeah. when those girls were uh were, yes. yeah yes. And, the, and they yes. made a whole rap of what when I when I just turned off in the first episode I think I cracked up 
t- uh, yeah, it's so hard just by watching the very beginning. Yeah. I said, okay, this is going to be my show now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. And that's the only thing with Netflix is because when they release, when they when they do an all original show, you don't have to wait week to week. You no. can watch the entire season, uh, you know, at your leisure. Uh, but, you know, if there's a show that I like, I typically watch it pretty quick. Yeah. And, you know, you watch it maybe within, like, the first month or two that it's released, and you have to wait, like, literally a year or more for another season. Yeah. So, you know, ten episodes, and, you know, I don't think, I don't know if this was ten episodes, but it was this like, pretty 12. fast. This was twelve. Yeah, but even still, I, I watched them all, I probably won't watch them again, and it'll probably be forever. It'll be forever before they lose another season. So, I'm not giving you... It's, it's, it's a fun show. I just wish they uh, would release them a little bit quicker. Yeah, 2016, they're going to release it. Another, so they, 2016. They are, yeah, they, they, they're going to uh, do another season. I looked it up for, before, right mm-hmm. after. But, I'll, yeah, I, I like that one. Um, there, there was also... Now, have you been watching Game of Thrones? Are you kidding me? Of course I have. <laughs> I know you have. Yes, yes, yes. I, I I've watched it so far. I do you think it's going a little slow? Um, I, yeah, I would I would say yes, but maybe it's just the last episode. I, what's the last episode? Episode three? Is it episode two or three? Two. I think it's two because three is, is episode tomorrow. Okay, so episode two. Um, it's only been two episodes. The first episode, I thought was good. I, you know, I don't know, Brandon. Maybe it's just it's too early to tell. Maybe okay. I, I don't know because it seems like it's going too slower. I'm starting to lose mi- interest. In it. You know, I, well, I, I typically I would jump on that and I would say, yeah, you're right. But Team of Thrones is a show that I really like, and I don't want it to move slow. I just want it. To, I want I want it to be great. So yeah. I'm, I'm holding. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping hope alive. I, I, not that it's bad, but I, I just no, want it to bad. be as I want it to be as epic as it, it always has been. Okay, you know, okay. so I, 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 you know, it, it, you know, it has its moments, you know, and then other moments are like, okay, well, you can kind of speed this along, you know. Right, right, right. Just stay way, way with me. See, I watched Game of Thrones like um, all together, like all at one time. So, one, two, three, like all, all in a row, like four, yeah. and yep. without a stop, just like I power watched the whole thing. But yeah. when I got to like now, I'm watching it with everyone else. I'm kind of going, okay, okay, <laughs> you episode, know, episode to episode. Yeah, yeah and I, and I yeah. wish they would do like what you were saying with Netflix. Just I wish they would just plop it all out, <laughs> yeah, and then yep. air and then yep. air the whole thing. Uh, now they can still do air one in piece at a time. But on the, on HBO Go, just put it all out, put it all on there, you know, so I can watch it all at one time. Yeah, my HBO Go that I use has been really not acting. Uh, well, it's on the Roku. I'll try to watch it on the TV, and I'll watch like five or ten minutes, and it'll just stop. Yeah, mine does so, that too. So, so it's not just you. And, yeah, so if I, I just give up and I just watch it on my iPad, which for whatever reason on my iPad it works fine, but where on my TV it just doesn't. So I'm, I, I think this week I'm not even going to bother watching on the TV. I just, you know, throw it on the iPad and watch it uninterrupted. Mine used to do that too, but that was I, I know I know why they were doing it because they were going to release their service of just not having, um, you know, a subscription HBO now. Yeah. I think yeah. so. I think they yeah. were fixing it. They were working on it because it, it all of a sudden got better after they announced it with Apple. Like, right after that, I was like, okay, maybe they were doing some, they were putting more uh, network, they were str- doing something well, with that. Well, I, I, don't, I don't have HBO, no, I have, I'm using HBO Go, and it's, it's still giving me problems. I tried to watch something on it today, and it wouldn't even connect, so I don't know what's going on with that stupid yeah, thing. I don't know, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe they, they need to upgrade your app. Could be. Or know. there's so many people watching Game of Thrones that it's just not funny. At the same time, you are. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, I, yeah. I think that's that's probably what it is. <laughs> because you know that like everyone jumps every time they they have that season on their HBO. Oh yeah. Show. Oh I mean, yeah. Sure. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. Like me, I yeah. wait until later. Like I I won't do it that day because I I know that everyone else is going to watch it, so I'll wait until like the Monday and watch it. You know, and then oh no, I got I got to watch it live. Game of Thrones, I got to watch live. You got to watch live. Mad, I watch Mad Men too. I like to watch them both live. Okay, okay, okay. See, I, I'll wait for the uh, I'll wait for it to come up. Before I oh, and be, before I forget, there's a show that just started on FX 
called The Comedians with Billy Crystal. Holy shit. Uh, that show, the last episode, I want to say it's episode two or three, oh, it, was, it, it, it takes place in a, in a convenience store. Billy okay. Crystal and the, and the other character, they, they smoke a pot. And it's, oh my God, they go to the convenience store because they got the munchies. Listen, The Comedians on FX, that show is so fucking funny it's, <laughs> it's very funny watch the comedians on fx okay okay well, comedian yeah. fx okay i'll have to yeah. i'll have to yes. I'll put that on my um list of, yes of things let me see anything else i've watched because i know I've, i i had netflix and i went to a binge watching um fast uh, oh, you gotta watch Daredevil. Daredevil is good. You know what? Okay, I, I, that's the next thing I'll, I'll watch. I'll start that right after. Right after we get done with this uh, that podcast. one, I'm, I'm taking my time with that one because I really like it. And um, so that one's good. I've been watching. I'm an idiot, but I've been watching that. Uh, what the hell's that show called? Uh, Comic Book Men. I'm still watching that stupid show. I know it's stupid, but I like it, so I watch it. Okay. 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 There's um, a lot of other shows on there. There's so much on there. So, I mean, okay, that's a science fiction show. Is there another one on... Because on, I was looking... Maybe I gotta start going through the whole thing and seeing what, what Netflix... Yeah, you just do some homework. You know, Brandon, I'm, I'm sure there is. You know, I'm sure I've watched it, but I'm, I'm, you know, off the top of my head, I can't think of anything. Can't think of it because neither. I mean, I start going through now that now that one, that Black, Black Mirror, that was pretty good. I, I have to say, that was up my alley. It was like the thriller side of of the technology. Yeah, yeah, how bad, yeah. how bad it can be, you know. Yes, yes, exactly. Right, so, exactly what it was. Yeah, I mean, especially the one where the one that that got confusing, but it was it was cool how they did it. Was the when they erased her memory and that she was my did. favorite one. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. you didn't know what was until the very end until the credits come up and then you see them okay everybody you gotta your thing but don't say anything and you can record it and all we got to do is have fun and now you realize you're like oh my god this is all yeah that was just the whole show is just so well done I really wish they do actually you know what there is one episode that is not on, on Netflix it was a Christmas episode they filmed with John Hamm Really? And it aired, it, yeah, it aired this past Christmas, and it's not available on Netflix. Oh my God! <laughs> so there, there, there is another episode out there. I just don't know how the hell we get to it. Dang it! Dang it! Yeah. Dang it! Because that would be. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why they do so 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 little. I mean, why do they just only do three? Yeah, I, I, I I don't know. I, I don't mean, know. I know it's a British show, and I know British TV is a little different than our TV because mm-hmm. they do their they they'll do like five seasons or something and stop doing it after that. Right. You know? Yeah. And, and they have no commercials either. Just like the just like the Office. That's when they did the Office. They also only had two seasons originally in England. And then the American version has like what twenty? Twenty, you know? yeah, I know. And then because they realize things can get old, you know, things can yeah, get, yeah. 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 And then they yeah. say it's better to end on a high level than end on a low level. You know, I mean, that's yeah. how I would do it yeah. if I, if it was anything. If I ever did a TV show, um, well, if you decide to get back into the movie business, get back yeah. into your movie career, you decide to get your second cell phone. And you can do that. Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. With it. But if I ever decided to do a TV show, I would definitely would do. I would only do four or five seasons, and I would let it I would stop right there. That's it. I'm done. But what happens if it was a if it was a success, making tons of money, a million dollars, uh, uh, you know, uh, a year or an episode? And you know, credibility goes out the window. So you're like, "What the hell? I'll do, I'll do eight seasons." Well, no, like, what if it's so high and they're gonna want anything else? I'll do something else. They're gonna, they're gonna want nope, only this. To do. You're, you're, you're a one trick pony. You can only have one show, and that's all you're gonna get. Mm. And you know, it's, you can do four seasons or done. You can stretch out to eight and be a billionaire for the rest of your life. Hmm. Okay. What's so, the answer, Brandon? How many, what how are you many, gonna do? Wait, wait. How many episodes? Wait, wait. There's the factors in that. So wait, how many episodes would I have to have to become a billionaire oh i don't know i guess i didn't think that far ahead <laughs> <laughs> i would know i was gonna because because if in that case if it's really popular i might do push one more season to make it five but i would be done at, at and i'd go do something else like okay the, the just lady make your money and leave yeah yeah i just like in episodes you know where he goes and he tells he tells them you know uh if you guys have seen episodes he says make yeah. your money and, and and just walk out the door you know where they were talking about that script this yeah. is season this is the very last season you guys yeah. uh of episodes but um 
it, it's just that I I don't know. I, I it's weed should have been like that too. I don't know. Weed should have cut well, off. Yeah, weed was terrible. Weed was good in the beginning, but man, did they drop. Yeah, they just went got really bad. That's an example of that. You know, episodes yeah. go so shows going too long. You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. then they don't they don't cut it off at a certain point and say, "Okay, I'm done." Yeah. Think about it. If she would have just d- cut it off, I mean, and then did Orange is the New Black. It's the same person who writes the same show, uh, produces the same show. Think about what Orange. I mean, also, you're telling me the lady who did uh, Beeves also does Orange is the New Black. Yeah, same person. I didn't know that. Yeah, Jenny Corey, I think is her name. Yeah, she's the, she's the one who wrote or she after Weed, she wrote Orange is the New Black. I did not know that. Yeah, sir. so it's the same writer, same same people, oh. same people who do that show do the. Uh, Crazy. Yeah, Crazy. I know, I know. I see, I know that stuff like that because I I look at I look and go, okay, oh, she did weeds, yeah, but she should have just cut it off. She also does girls too. Uh, uh, with, with what's her name? That's one show I can't watch. I just <laughs> I I tried watching it because there was a lot of hype behind it at one point. And I just watched it, and it's like, yeah, it's it's you know, it's it's pretty bad when you're watching a show that's got tons of nudity. And you're like, you know what? It's just too much nudity for my taste. I can't watch this broad naked. Please, lady, put your clothes on and end the show. <laughs> you know, but with with me though, I don't. Okay, certain certain. Yeah, I, I she used to take her clothes off a lot in in uh, this in the second season. But I think she in the last season. I, I watch girls. But in the last season, she she didn't do that so much. There wasn't a lot Good. of nudity in the, in the in the newest season because it, it's more about it's more about her than it, it, and her whole entire coming back and relationship thing. Yeah, she's odd anyway. She's like a female Woody Allen. Yeah, I just I can't get into her. Yeah, I I don't I I think she's okay. A uh, Liam Dunham, I think is her name. I can't remember. Liam, her name. Liam yeah. Dunham. Yeah, yeah. she she's okay. I I like her because of that whole entire Woody Allen ish type show thing. Yeah, uh, I just want to reach in and pull the words out of her mouth and just, I don't know, she just bothers me. Maybe it's me, but she bothers me. Yeah, she don't bother me. I mean, maybe maybe because I, I, I kind of like the like her style. Of, of I don't know. But yeah, that I watched and, you know, I, I guess uh, um, what else? Oh, uh, did you like the last, uh, how um, Shameless ended? I don't think, think how it ended. How did it end? I forgot. Um, it's been a while. Shameless. Um, yeah, it was like two. I think it was. Like oh, two the, weeks ago. the one guy, yeah, the the lady who had cancer. Okay, I'm tr- I don't want to give anything away for anyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Although you know what? Listen, at this point, no one's listening to the show anyway. Who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah. so the, the one lady, she had cancer. She jumped in the lake, and then uh, what else was there? Um. Okay, he comes. Yeah, he jumps in the lake, and then he comes back. But before that, uh, guy. Goes with his mom, his bipolar mom. Right. Remember what happened? What happened to him? I forgot. Yeah. And then he finally decides to come back because you know her, her mom had her boyfriend and then didn't want to have time with him. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. And then and what happened uh, with the the main the the brunette? Did she wind up with the guy who owns the restaurant? I forgot. Yes. 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 Or 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 you know what they don't say because you know what at the very end he, he she has to have a choice. Oh, they had, see, I watched. I watched it. I totally forgot all of this. So I love. And the it was show. only I like really, three weeks ago. I know. I totally forgot. It, <laughs> it was like yeah. the last episode was like around when our last podcast was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good show. Shameless is a good show. I mean, I I like the ending. Every time they do an ending like that, I always go, "Wow, okay." You know, they always close their ending. Right, right, right. Every single, every single time. It's a, it's it's like a, um, they go close it. Okay, now it's a whole nother show. Now whole like kind of like do like what Doctor Who kind of does. <laughs> they kind of close it off, and then now it's a whole nother season, a whole nother show. You know, every whole single doctor, time. Whole, yeah. Well, yeah, it could be a whole nother Doctor too. You know, I mean, yep. that's that, I think that's what's like. That's what I like about Shameless so much. And the other thing is. Um, um, what was the other show? Because I, I tried to watch Happyish. Have you tried Happyish, the very new one? It's funny. I, I tried twice to watch Happiness. Uh, I haven't gotten past like the first couple minutes. Uh, and I, <laughs> and I, I think that's prop. You know what it is? I watched the very intro. The very, very first scene is a guy sitting at a table, 
and he was blowing out his a birthday cake for what apparently is supposed to be his forty fourth birthday. Yeah. And the the actor, I tell you what, he's about as forty four as much as I am eighteen. Yeah. So and I I have a hard time watching that because it's like cause I'm I'm forty four. I want to be forty four. Yeah. And this guy is nothing. He, he, he's not. And if he's forty four, then I I'm, I'm an idiot. But. <laughs> the, 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 it, it, it just it, the first few scenes of the episode, I try. I just, I just can't get past it. This was scene where the one guy calls the other guy's son an idiot, or no, he calls him an asshole. Yeah, he calls the other guy's son an asshole. I just thought if someone called my kid an asshole, I'd punch him in the face. Yeah, yeah. yeah I wouldn't yeah, go around yeah. laughing. I wouldn't go around laughing about it. So those are my first. You know, so if I had, whatever. I guess I read into things too much. So, but yeah, I, you didn't. You didn't like yeah. it. So you, so you. Didn't well, like I mean, it. I, 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 I didn't give it enough of a chance to not like it, but those first two scenes bothered me enough to where I didn't want to finish watching it. Okay, 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 okay. Because I, I kind of liked it. I mean, I thought it was funny about the whole elves thing. Um, I don't know if you got that far yet. No, I didn't. No. Okay, okay, about the whole Keepler elves. <laughs> no, I I, 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 I didn't get that far. I might have to watch it. Okay, I okay, okay. To, you, yeah. You'll you'll have to see that part. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kill the the episode for okay no. anybody who listens to our podcast if if you're listening still. <laughs> At this point, I think they've all tuned out. Yes, they have. They probably have right after, or they or, or yeah, they probably have. But um, well, before before it gets any longer, I just have two album suggestions without going on too long. Okay, there's uh, two bands. Uh, I, there's, I was going to run down the thing, a list of the music I've been listening to. But if I do that, I probably wouldn't have any ideas for the next episode. Yeah. So I just pick out two albums of bands that I like. There's one, and I, you know, I may have mentioned this in the last episode, and if I did, whatever. I'm 44 years old now, and I can't he's remember getting, things I did yesterday. He's getting Alzheimer's or senile. I don't know which one yet. I, I think it's both. <laughs> uh, there is a band called Gun, G1. The name of the album is called Frantic. Okay. I think I did mention this last week, but I'll mention it again. Check out Gun, G1, and Frantic. They're on Spotify. Go to their Facebook page. And it's, I, I listened to this because it's a band I had heard about years ago and uh they just popped up on you know on the radar again so i, I listened to the album and i tell you what i really made this album it was an actual total surprise it was a shocker i didn't i really don't know anything about this band but this is an album i continuously go back and i listen to over and over again so it's called gun frantic great band just a fun album uh there's another album uh i like which is uh probably for people who are into like 80s rock like that's you know that's my era I, I grew up on uh, just, you know, Kiss and Poison and Molly Crew and that kind of crap. And this is more of that vein. This is a band called Hardcore Superstar. And the name of the album is H.S. What the hell is the name of this album? Son of a... H.C.S.S. for Hardcore Superstar. It's just a fun party rock band. Uh, it's, you know, take out your brain, put it on the table and just zone out because you don't need to... Just, you're not going to need it for the the duration of this album it's just a brainless stupid cheesy corny rock album and i love it so hardcore superstar hc ss and gun frantic those are scott's suggestions Scott. of the week okay okay I, I got a movie score um that uh we can do uh that i have um, oh boy! Yeah, yeah, I, I do. Uh, Cosmos. Um, that was a that was a very good score because that was something I watched on Netflix. I I'd, I'd seen the originals, but I um I didn't know how well of a score that was until after I <laughs> until after I watched it and said, "Wow, this is a very good score." Um, but it's a Seth MacFarlane show. You know the guy who does Family Guy. He's the, yes, he's yes. executive mm-hmm. producer of it. So the guy who did Star Trek too is Brad and Bega. You know he did Star Trek, which mm-hmm. you know, he did all the Star Trek Next Generation, Star Trek Voyager, Star Trek. He's the producer of that one. But uh, Neil, Degr- Neil deGrasse Tyson is the person who's in. Um, Sweet. But wonderful score is by Al- Alan Tavinsky. And oh my, I hope I said his last name right, but. Oh my God! This I was like, oh man, this is this is nice. So it's in like four volumes, though. You have 
first volume, second volume, third volume, fourth volume, and that and that covers the whole entire season. Um, but it's 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 a wonderful score. So I thought I might add that to our list of scores since Scott's talking about movies and stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'm, <laughs> but music and stuff. Sorry, music, music. No, I thought mm-hmm. I had my movie scores. Well, cool, 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 cool. So that is really it for me. I don't have. Yeah, I don't, I don't have anything else to add. So yeah. I would just like to remind everyone to please check out our website at techpopboom.com. Go to Facebook. Go to Google Plus. Go to YouTube uh, and do a search on Tech Pop Boom. We'll be forever thankful. Please write comments. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. If you hate us, let us know you hate us. Tell us why you hate us. Go into detail. But yeah, like our Facebook page. Also, uh, put a thumbs up on our video, you know, our podcast on YouTube, or mm-hmm. thumbs down, you know, if you want to put a thumbs mm-hmm. down for it, you know, or tell us why you want to put a thumbs down on it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Let us know. Let us know. Uh, All right, Brandon. Well, it's been a pleasure. It's yes, been fun. This was fun. People enjoyed it, and uh, we'll be here in a few weeks. Okay. Yeah. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Peace.